Ba't ka nagdadawa? Ang cute. Hindi, I mean, hindi ka nasistress. Bakit ako masistress? Ang saya na eh. <laughs> I can't do what you're doing. <laughs> Finally done moving in. Yes. In so, like, Jessica, how do you feel now that you're fully settled here in your house? Um, coming in, you already know the I was so overwhelmed because of all the things that were downstairs, the boxes that were lined up. But now that we are finally settled in and everything is already at its proper place, I feel relieved. I feel good. Right away, I was able to establish a system. We were able to get everything to its proper place, record-breaking of five days. Yeah, so let's go back to that moment. It was so fast how it happened. Mm -hmm. We really had to do it. Because talagang time bound talaga. Yes, yes. Na, by walker by yes. cook. Kailangan talagang matapos. matapos siya. Yes. When we were gonna move here already, what I did was, I sorted through the stuff that I had, let go of the things that I felt like had no more space in this new house. I labeled everything. But I assigned it already to its proper place. And when you came in, it was just a matter of unpacking it and designating people to put it in its proper place. Not everybody has people to help them. What would be your advice for those who don't have the manpower? Better talaga like to sort it prior to moving in. Because mm -hmm. once you sorted it out, it's easier for us to help you. I mean, for some the man who has help, it will make the lives of those who will help you easier also. I think what I like the most in your house is you very well think of what's going to be in specific places. Mm -hmm. And talagang, this is something na parang you don't need so much storage solution like your closet. Kung paano nyo talaga siya plinan out and kung paano yung mga shelving, kung ano sa red books and ilalagay yung mga accessories. And if you really plan out for storage, then you don't have to buy mga bins and organizers. If merong mga viewers na napapagwapa sila ng bahay, it's best to think of space planning, mm -hmm. di ba? Yes. For um, know very well your things. Ang ganda ng space eh. Yeah. Napag-isipan nyo siya talaga. Can you imagine, checks? Parang some of the stuff here, pinagpilita natin ipag-cashan doon sa maliit yes. ng space. Yeah. What, I, what I appreciate also, with you eases, Yes, there are people also who have a lot of space but don't know how to use that space. And I love that you give so much idea with how you can use your storage. And I thought when I fixed everything here, I thought that I had everything in its proper place. And then you come up with containers. <laughs> and then it makes so much sense. Like I love that you put all the glues and all the scissors all together in a wicker basket and it makes so much sense to put it in in one basket because especially when you're homeschooling kids you don't want them to get it one by one and then eventually leave it there just for them to scatter it around yes. but then with the baskets with the containers that you provided um, it makes it easier for them to pull out and put it back in and I think that's what fu functionality is all about also to train the children yes. that um, here is a container that you have already. All you have to do is put, put it, it back, back where it belongs. Yes, yeah. put it back where it belongs. I, I love that I can see everything that I need. It's different. There are, I think, different kinds of people. There are people that can find space for it, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's organized. That's why I needed you to come in. Yes, I know how to fix my stuff. But to actually organize it gets overwhelming. What I am trying to achieve actually is efficiency and um, how to live your life systematically. When you organize it, you don't have to overthink anymore. 
you know, there are a lot of stressors outside already. Yeah. That's improving the efficiency. Now, how you're going to put a system or live systematically. Sometimes kasi sabi na, oy gastos, bibili lang ng basket or para saan ba yung basket na yan? Pwede naman hindi bumili. You can actually repurpose, oh, di ba? Yeah. Shoe boxes or yeah. what have you. Remember we did that? Yes. And, and I think, was it my dresser? So we used my shoe boxes mm-hmm. and then we used it to segregate, portion out my stuff. Uh, on a daily basis, if you're going to clean, if you have those baskets and if you have everything in one container, when you clean, lift it up, wipe, yes. put it down. Yes. So diba, as a mom, it cuts your time. Or as mm-hmm. a, I mean, if you have helpers also, hindi ka magtataka, bakit? Dalawang araw na siyang nagpupulas uh, yes. doon. So, <laughs> diba? So, it improves your way of living. Way of living. Yeah. It's how I want people to see what organizing is all about. Yeah. And it's not just about pantay-pantay, sunod-sunod yung color. Yeah. It's, it's not that. Para how are you going to cut the time yeah. into, you know, attending to more important things. That's exactly why you organize because you want to make sure that you can find your things. Exactly. Of course, going back to when you were unboxing everything, mm-hmm. I, I really enjoyed also the time where I saw some of my things that I haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. And I was pleasantly surprised. Mm-hmm. I already got rid of some stuff, but when we moved in here, there were more things that I needed to get rid of. You know, I really wanted to start anew. It was difficult for me to let go of things that I didn't need anymore. And I think that's what's refreshing. And then when I look at my cabinets and there's still a lot of space, I feel happy. <laughs> you get to appreciate also the effort that you put in here, how you planned it out, how you made sure that like, everything will have a home. You treasure these things you worked hard for and seeing them like, like, housed properly. And it's a good example also to set up for the kids. The yeah. children can see that my mom's organized. I can watch her put all these things together and hopefully through our example our children will will follow our footsteps so it speaks so much of how your kids are disciplined also and of course their kids no maglalaro at maglalaro I always but... remind us yeah. <laughs> this very day and all you have to do is put it where it's supposed to be placed it's good practice but i think you know with children really you have to be patient yeah be consistent also yes it's nice to see that there's still papala, some room of improvement here and you've made more space for more books to come. <laughs> My kids love reading books. We really want to build our little library here at home. This is one of my favorite spots in your Me house. Me too! Because it's like it's a I think it's a nice place to build a lot of memories with the kids. Yeah. I'm always with them. I also teach them. They also want to hang out here because everything's in its proper place. The you mean, nga pag yung house, people don't want to go home. You and Doug, one thing that you openly share, the reason why you built this house is because you want to create that space and that home for your kids where they will enjoy, they will love staying too. Now that you've created this and you've maintained it, I mean, four months, diba? I see in your kids how they love staying here. Nakaka-inspire. More than showcasing the beauty of your home, what I want to impart to the people who are watching this is that it doesn't mean if you have a big house, dun lang maganda. Even if you have a small house or you're challenged with the space, madami ka talagang pwedeng gawin doon. It's just a about parang thinking mindfully and knowing talaga what's important to you. Having specialty areas will help also the kids to identify the importance of utilizing the area. Lahat ng gamit dito sa school room, hindi siya nalabas. So it teach your kids discipline, responsibility yes. of making sure alagaan tong area na to. You have a play area where it teaches also your kids na parang if maglalaro ka, dun lang sa area na yun. Because I don't see toys around your house because they understand what yeah. those specialty areas are for. That's why it's a good training also and I always remind my children. More things means more responsibility. So if you want to acquire more things, make sure that you have space for that and you're responsible in putting it and packing it away. I think it applies also for us adults. Manage also the things that you buy, that you acquire. If you don't have space for it and if you really want it, then let go of one thing that you don't use anymore so that you can have space for this new one. You know, I always made sure that my husband would come home to a house that's 
clean. And even if I had a small space, but I made sure that I had space for everything. It just became harder when you moved in here. Because, syempre, from the condo, I only had one child. And then when you moved to a townhouse, I had my second child. And then when you moved to the third house, I had my third child. And now that we moved here, they're all grown up. That's that's already five people <laughs> with five different things. Right. And five different hobbies and things that they like. Thought. That was the major adjustment to it. Mm -hmm. And it was a good time to ask the children, do you really need that? What are the things that you want to take with you and the things that you can do without? And it was also nice to see them segregate. Yes. And really think. Uh, it's a good time to talk about letting go and giving it away to somebody who needs it also more. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of lessons actually if you come to think of it. And there's a lot of nice good conversations that you can have with the children and with your husband. What we're trying to showcase here is of course how, how beautiful your house is. But it's really about how organizing and cleaning is really a part of your lifestyle because it talk so much of how you take care of yourself, how you take care of your family. I mean, you're not compromised health-wise. Mm -hmm. There are also a lot of values and teachings mm -hmm. attached to it, for yes. not just for the kids, but also to us parents. Yeah. Nakaka, nakakatuwa lang someone like you, a celebrity, and there you have helpers around, and still you are very hands-on, especially Doug. I mean, how he's hands-on also yes. in the household, yes, yeah. the back. Yeah. We are sila. all co-laborers here. Yes. We so all love each other. All so. of you are homemakers, yes. not just you. Of course, I yes. believe that. I believe that. <laughs> yes. We need the participation of everybody yes. to make things work and to have a system. Yes, and that is my vision actually for Lead Obsessions, that for everybody to become an effective and positive homemaker. So Thank you for inspiring us. <laughs> Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you. Chex, all the time for welcoming us, my team, into your lovely home. Always such a great time being here. Uh, I always have a great time with all of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.